So there is a lot of difference between The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, the original version of the game, and the upcoming next-gen update that is coming for the PS5 and Xbox Series X, as well as for the PC version. There seems to be a lot of difference between both of these versions. At first, when I saw the screenshot of the new game, I was like, well, maybe I don't really see that much of a difference. But then when I started comparing both of these same screenshots, because luckily, it seems like we have a new screenshot, which basically represents the Game of the Year edition, which is pretty much the same exact scene right here and as you guys can see if you compare both of these different screenshots here you can actually say that the next gen version the update that we're going to be getting on december 14th is going to be providing us with a massive tremendous amount of changes in order to making this game look completely next gen now the first thing that i'm getting in my mind as soon as i take a look at the next gen version here is ray tracing in all of its purest forms because one of the major changes that i'm able to see in the screenshot is that you could now actually see the reflection of the sun rays on the horse skin so if you compare this with the vanilla version of the game you can actually see that there is no reflection whatsoever there is just a tint of yellowish color that's just falling on the horse skin but then on the newer version meaning the next gen update the ps5 version it looks so much better you can actually see that the rays are being emitted out of the skin which is something only the ray tracing graphics cards and the next gen consoles are going to be able to perform there is a huge tremendous change that CD Projekt Red has been putting in with The Witcher 3's next gen update. It seems like it is clearly shown in terms of clouds and how everything is dynamic now. But then on the previous Witcher 3's, the original game, the clouds, of course, they're kind of good in its own ways, but then it's not as perfection as what we are getting to see with the next gen update here. So you will only know the difference if you're trying to compare both the next gen and the previous gen games. And it looks tremendous. There's a lot of changes. And also one thing that I absolutely loved about this update is that they have now changed the hair works on Geralt of Rivia. So if you try to zoom into Geralt here, you can very easily see that the textures on this character is very much refined and it's very detailed right now. As you guys can see, there is a lot of changes between how the hairs look in the next gen version. You can now see a major change that CD Projekt Red has put into the hair works of this character. The hair looks much more realistic and you can also see the ray tracing that is working on the hair. You can see that the right side portion of the hair in the next gen update looks looks pretty much lit up whereas the left side of the hair is pretty much covered with shadows which kind of makes it look like a depth of field effect and it kind of gives you more of a realistic approach and it feels more real with the ray tracing technology being implemented in this game and comparing this with the original version you guys can see that it's pretty much just washed out colors the whole image just looks like a pure yellowish tint just slapped on its face without really having to have any natural lightings and this is especially the works of ray tracing technology and I think the CD Project Red has absolutely nailed this game in terms of how good they've implemented the ray tracing system. As far as what we have been shown so far, which is just this one screenshot, we're of course going to be getting so much more coming next week because they have said that they're officially going to be showing us a full-fledged gameplay of the next-gen update for absolutely free, which everyone's going to be getting if you already own the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt's original game. Now, another very major thing that I basically notice in this new changes is that the terrain quality looks very much realistic in the free next gen update compared to the original one whereas you have a lot of different stones and i think in the original game you also have the same stones located in the same locations but then you're not able to see them because the game it does not eliminate realistic shadows so this could be one of the biggest reasons as to why you're not able to see certain objects on the terrain or many details because the shadowing and the lighting system in the game was not originally very good compared to the latest technology with the ray tracing and whatever the gaming technology could do these days and also if you take a very close look you can actually notice that the view distance in this game with the next gen update is so much better compared to the original version you can see far away through the map and you can actually see it very clear whereas on the original version you can hardly even see the windmill on towards the right whereas on the next gen update you can actually see the windmill very clearly with the lightings and all that effect everything looks so much realistic and also something that i was not really expecting to see with the remaster because this is supposed to be a next gen update it was not supposed to be a remake of this game so i was just thinking maybe cd project red is just going to slap around some texture retexturing things and then just add in a few shadows and stuff like that but it seems like they've actually changed in the character models 
they've even changed in some of the objects in the world and one of the biggest changes that you can see in this image is the crops the vegetations and everything has been completely changed so if you take a look at the crops on the right side on the next June update you can actually see the field is filled with a lot more vegetation and the vegetation looks much more different so the textures and the entire pack has been completely changed on the next gen update here which is a great thing because it looks very realistic very colorful and you guys know i just love colors when it comes to video games even though it kind of just makes it look a little bit arcadey but still i think they've done a great job with the ray tracing to make it look so much realistic compared to the older version you can actually see that there isn't much crops here compared to the newer version or even if there is it doesn't really look that realistic compared to the newer version so there is a massive changes that cd project red has put in even with the stones and the wall that you can see a mini wall they retextured the entire thing so the entire thing looks completely different with better lightings and the textures and everything it just looks absolutely fantastic when you compare both of these games let me know down below in the comments what do you guys think are you excited for the witcher 3's next gen free update the release date is on 14th of december and we are only a few weeks away from the official launch of this game so if you don't already own the witcher 3 is wild hunt then make sure to go ahead and grab the game already because you're going to be getting this game's update the next gen update for absolutely free if you already own the base game so if you don't already own the base game then you will have to repurchase the entire next gen version which is going to be priced much higher than the original version itself so the prices of the game could anytime be going super high so make sure to go ahead and purchase it on the black friday sale we're getting a huge sale right now so take advantage of this and try to purchase the vanilla version of the witcher 3 on whatever console you're playing maybe the ps4 ps5 or xbox series x or even the pc because even the ps4 versions the last gen consoles are still going to be receiving a bunch of upgrades it's still going to make the game look better than the vanilla version itself so everything is a win-win situation here let me know down below in the comments how excited are you guys for the witcher 3 wild hunts next gen free update and also if you guys did go on and enjoy this video please make sure to go ahead and slap a big fat like because your like and your support Support, it really does help me out a lot it helps out this video get a lot of reach it also helps the channel out it makes me motivated in order to make better content for you guys every single day so please last just take a few seconds drop a like that would really mean a lot to me and with that being said if you guys are looking for a youtube channel that basically covers every single information all the leaks all the things that you need about all the upcoming open world games then i think this channel is going to be your one-stop shop so make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and turn the notifications on and even if you guys are I've subscribed and turned the notifications on make sure that you guys are setting your notification settings to all because if you don't do that then the broadcast youtube platform they just don't send you guys the notifications of my daily videos so make sure you guys do it with that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day and i'll see you guys on tomorrow's video until then take it easy fams and goodbye